On fifth place we have Capri. Capri is an island located in the Tyrrhenian Sea off the Sorrento Peninsula, on the south side of the Gulf of Naples in the Campania region of Italy. The main town Capri that is located on the island shares the name. It has been a resort since the time of the Roman Republic. The island of Capri is famous for many reasons. It has jaw-dropping natural beauty, delicious cuisine and world-class shopping. It's also a place to see and be seen. There's a reason why so many celebrities anchor their yachts in Marina Grande. With a precipitous, jagged coast, and encircled by the famous Faraglioni, sea stacks, enormous and uniquely shaped boulders, and by numerous caves that tell of evocative plays of light. The most famous of these caves is the Grotta Azura, Blue Grotto, closely connected to the history of tourism in Capri. The island continues to be both a legend and a favorite destination for travelers, intellectuals and the international jet set, performing, at any given time in the legendary Piazzetta, the real-time theater of the island's, Dolce Vita. On fourth place we have Madeira. Madeira officially the autonomous region of Madeira is one of the two autonomous regions of Portugal, the other being the Azores. It is an archipelago situated in the North Atlantic Ocean, in a region known as Macaronesia, just under 400 kilometers, 250 miles, to the north of the Canary Islands and 520 kilometers, 320 miles, west of Morocco. Madeira is geologically located on the African tectonic plate, though the archipelago is culturally, economically and politically European. Its total population was estimated in 2016 at 289,000. The capital of Madeira is Funchal, which is located on the main island's south coast. Tenerife is the largest and most populous island of the Canary Islands. It is home to 43% of the total population of the archipelago. With a land area of 2,034 square kilometers, 785 square miles, and a population of 966,354 inhabitants at the end of 2020, it is also the most populous island of Spain and of Macaronesia. Approximately 5 million tourists visit Tenerife each year, it is the most visited island in the archipelago. It is one of the most important tourist destinations in Spain and the world, hosting one of the world's largest carnivals, the Carnival of Santa Cruz de Tenerife. Teta National Park, located in the center of the island, is also a UNESCO World Heritage Site. It includes Mount Teta, which has the highest elevation in Spain, and the highest among all the islands in the Atlantic Ocean. It is also the third largest volcano in the world, when measured from its base. Tenerife also has the largest number of endemic species in Europe. On second place we have Sicily. Sicily is the largest island in the Mediterranean Sea and one of the 20 regions of Italy. It is one of the five Italian autonomous regions and is officially referred to as Region Siciliana. The region has 5 million inhabitants. Its capital city is Palermo. Sicily is in the central Mediterranean Sea, south of the Italian peninsula, from which it is separated by the narrow strait of Messina. Its most prominent landmark is Mount Etna, one of the tallest active volcanoes in Europe, and one of the most active in the world, currently 3,329 meters, 10,922 feet high. The island has a typical Mediterranean climate. And first in our list is Corfu. Corfu is a Greek island in the Ionian Sea, of the Ionian Islands, and, including its small satellite islands, forms the margin of the northwestern frontier of Greece. The island is part of the Corfu Regional Unit, and is administered by three municipalities with the islands of Uthanoi, Araikusa, and Mathraki. The principal city of the island, Pop, 32,095, is also named Corfu. With the passage of time the island may have changed, but we can still feel the spirit of a distant glorious past. Its rich multicultural heritage, its historic monuments, its stunning natural landscape, its crystal clear seas, and its excellent weather all year round explain why Corfu is one of the most cosmopolitan Mediterranean destinations weaving a powerful spell on its visitors. Corfu, unlike the rest of Greece, never fell under the Ottoman oppression. Due to the successive dominations of the Venetians, the French and the British over the centuries, the island has primarily become part of the Western rather the Levantine world. Their culture wielded strong influence in the city. It was here that the first Greek university, 
the Ionian Academy, the first Philharmonic Orchestra and the first School of Fine Arts were founded. Over to you now, comment underneath and let me know which one is your favorite island? By the way, if you liked this video, by all means give it a thumbs up, subscribe and turn on the notification bell if you want to get new great videos each week. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.